How do we make forest canopies more complex? It's easy to understand the value of big tall trees. What's sometimes harder to understand is the incredible abundance of having a canopy that is deeper and more complex. As a birder, I pay a lot of attention to the nuances of the forest canopy. Here in the Northeastern United States, most of our forests are relatively young and simple, dominated by a single generation of trees, a tier of branches and leaves up at the tippy top of the trees. But when we look at old growth forests, what we see is that these forest canopies are naturally layered. These forests will have some areas of big tall trees, but also young trees, middle-aged trees, and everything in between. And with our forest songbirds, there are individual species that will primarily utilize the understory, the midstory, the overstory, in different canopy layers at different times and for different purposes. Here what we've done is to cut some of those trees in the overstory, to release some trees that are in the understory to move into the midstory, and to create a new generation of understory trees. So what's gonna happen here is what I call deepening the canopy. In the places where we've opened up the canopy and let this new light hit the forest floor, we're gonna regenerate a new generation of trees. The young trees that are here will advance into different levels of the canopy. The older trees that we're retaining will expand their crowns. This canopy will go from being a single tier of leaves, like a lawn of grass, to being such a greater volume of habitats in this incredibly deep and complex and multi-layered structure. And that's what we're trying to build here.